If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. To reopen a database you have already created and saved in Access, open Access to view its home screen. In the listing at the right side of the window, then click the name of the recently opened database to reopen, shown under the Recent tab. To open a database file in Access not listed here, instead click the More Databases link towards the lower right corner of this list, or click the Open button at the left side of the screen. At the right side of the Backstage view, then select the general location of the saved file from the listing shown. If the file to open then appears in the listing at the far right side of the screen, click it to open it. If not, then instead click the Browse button below the listing of general locations to launch the open dialog box. Then use the open dialog box to navigate to the folder where you saved the database file. When you can see the database file to open appear in the open dialog box, click it to select it, and then click the open button within the dialog box to open the selected file. Using any of the previous techniques to open a database opens the database within the instance of access you opened. An instance of access is nothing more than the application window being opened without any specific database file opened. If needed, to open a second instance of access so you can open a second database file at the same time, you must open another instance of access and then open a database within it. Alternatively, you can also use the Windows File Explorer to open a second database file within a new instance of access. To close a database file within an instance of access but leave the instance open, Click the File tab within the ribbon, and then click the Close command at the left side of the Backstage view. Alternatively, to close the current database and the Access instance entirely, click the X button in the upper right corner of the application window. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.